I'll do a video here. Uh, last week, the Supreme Court ruled on a case, Tyler v. Henpin County, Minnesota. That's H-E-N-N-E-P-I-N. -N -E I'll put the link book down below also. But it has to do with, um, I found it's really important to get out to the public. Because it has to do with property taxes. And, uh, how the government's committing fraud. And it was actually, uh, 9-0 ruling in the Supreme Court that when the government, and this actually has, do, this, this also relate to uh, banks on foreclosures too. It may take a little while, but um, yeah, it's really going to mess up the foreclosures. So the Supreme Court ruled, I haven't read the whole case, I only read part of it, there's another issue in there, I don't know if I'm raising this or not, but the Supreme Court ruled that the government, the counties, the state, they can only take the money that's owed on back taxes. They can't sell your house, in this case, they sold this lady's house, she's 94 years old, she didn't pay the taxes. She owed fifteen thousand dollars for the taxes. They sold her house for forty thousand. And we all know the corrupt public servants think that's their money because they don't understand it's a servant. Blows my mind. But anyway, so they kept twenty-five thousand dollars of her money, and they do this all the time. People don't realize when they share sell your house, you get that money. They take what they, is owed to them. I'm not going to raise the issues of whether taxes are legal or not. They take what's owed to them. And they pay that debt off. They have to reimburse. They have to send the rest of that money back to you. So like in her case, they should have took the 15 grand. And gave her the other twenty-five thousand back, but they didn't. They kept it because they think it's their money when it's not. So that is a case that the Supreme Court issued an opinion on. It's unlawful for these counties, these states, to keep that money. This will also fall over. To mortgage foreclosures because when they sell that house for what's owed whatever they profit off of it will have to be returned to the people which means the mortgage companies are not going to be fucking giving mortgages out excuse my language man this case got me fired up and i'm fired up today anyway so they're not going to be all gun ho on foreclosing or giving out mortgages because they're going to take that risk that they're not going to get the money back. So this case may not be that big right now at the moment, but years down the road, it's a super case. In the case of property taxes, it states in there that in the law in Minnesota, clearly, clearly states beneficial ownership. When you look up the term of beneficial ownership, listen to this. A beneficial owner is a person who enjoys the benefit of ownership even though the title to some form of property is in another's name. This is what that case will be used for. 
if you can be used for. Beneficial ownership means the deed is in your name, but you don't own the property. The state does. Because you registered it. When you registered that property with the recorder of deeds, you gave them the property. That's where they get to tax you. It's a big scam. It's a big fraud. Okay? Where else do they tax you for your property? That's your property. Under the Fourth Amendment, they need a warrant. But yes, I'll link that uh, case down below. And please, get this case out to as many people. I don't want to see people losing their homes on taxes because the government's scamming them. The government is committing a fraud. These public servants who swore an oath, this is why it's so important to get their oath. They swore an oath to protect your unalienable rights to property. And then they're taking it and keeping all the money, all the proceeds from it. And using that to put in their pocket or whatever. It sure as heck ain't to use for the public's interest. So, let me know down in the comments what you think. Because again, it was a 9-0 ruling. <laughs> Didn't matter what party line it was. They all said it's unconstitutional to keep that money. That the government can only take what's owed. And that's it. Have a good day, people.